Hi there, what can I do for you? Hey Dave, I'm trying to decide if I need to do a full-blown remodel or if there's a way I can fix my current problem. Uh, that's definitely something I can help you out with. What's going on? Well, you see, every time I turn on my faucet, there is this low, steady, almost like a hum. I, I can see how that would be frustrating. Do you have any idea why my faucet would be humming? Maybe it doesn't know the words? Welcome back Remodelites to another episode of Remodel Media. I'm Dave and for the last 16 years I've been helping people put together kitchens, baths, outdoor kitchens, and various other home renovation projects. If you're new here, consider subscribing and ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an episode. Every week on Twitter, KB Tribe Chat hosts a discussion for folks interested in the remodeling industry. This week's discussion was all about quick, easy, and inexpensive updates you can make to your kitchen or bath. The first question in our discussion is, what are your mini remodeling tips for updating existing kitchens? And that reminds me of a story. Picture it. Ramona, California, 2013. A friend of mine buys her very first home. She's super excited, but not too excited about the decor. So she goes to the local hardware store, picks up a cabinet refinishing kit, something like this. She does the work herself, invests very little, and gets a lot out of it. Now, there is one downside to doing something like that, and that is you do not have the opportunity to upgrade your storage solution in your cabinets if all you're doing is refacing your cabinets. So if you've got a complaint, something along the lines of, I wish this cabinet was bigger, I wish that didn't have that dead space over there, I wish I could utilize this better, then resurfacing the cabinets is just refreshing the look it's a cosmetic change only but if that's your problem you just want to update the look it's a great option the second question in our discussion is what updates can be done in a day and there is a lot that can be done in a day one of the updates that my friend did was updating to a delta venetian bronze kitchen faucet and other fixtures, including a filtration faucet, an air gap, and I believe a soap dispenser as well. One of the things I like most about Delta's Venetian bronze is the fact that you can match it to a lot of different brands. There's a lot of different brands that have a very similar finish. And unlike traditional oil rub bronzes, it is not a bronze that's going to tarnish with age. It's going to be the same now and 10 years from now. You're not going to have the patina that you have on a more natural oil rub bronze. Now question number three is an interesting one. What if the kitchen is very old and outdated? And to that, I have a couple of different answers. Again, it depends on your pain point. If you're dissatisfied with the look, I'm going to make one recommendation. However, if your kitchen is literally so old it is no longer functional, things are falling apart, uh, it's not up to code, remodeling is an excellent opportunity to bring things up to code. This can aid in things later down the line like resale value, um, and in some cases certain types of loans are not possible for the buyer because the house might or might not be turnkey. There may need to be changes that need to make, bring it up to code. Now, question number four is how can existing bathrooms be updated with mini makeovers? And the short, simple truth is there is so much in your bathroom that is instantly changeable. In fact, short of the tub, tile, or stone, you really can change almost anything in your bathroom today. Ranging from shower heads, sink faucets, toilets, accessories, knobs, poles, etc. Even lighting fixtures. By changing these, there is a lot that you can do to update the look of your bathroom. Question number five is what bathroom updates can be done in a day? Now I have two videos that might be of interest to you on my YouTube channel. Video number one, which is quick and easy bathroom updates, where I took a Kohler Pure Tide toilet seat and a Delta Intuitions hand shower and actually updated a friend's bathroom over the course of a couple hours. Just one evening after work, I went over and I changed out these fixtures for her. And another video that you might be interested in is this video right here, where I reviewed the Water Song hand shower. At under $50, this is a great little hand shower to use. And update not just the look, but the performance of the shower head as well. And the sixth and final question in this series is, when is it worth saving your money for that remodel in your kitchen or bath? As I alluded to in the very beginning, it all depends on your pain point. If you're looking for just some nice, simple little upgrades, there's no reason you can't just do 
a couple of quick change outs of a few fixtures and drastically change your home. However, my advice to everybody is going to be different depending on their circumstances. Remember what I always say, everything is right for somebody. And for some people, the correct response is going to be remodeling. If you're considering a remodel, I would encourage you to consider these points. When will you be selling? If this is your forever home, there's nothing wrong with taking your time and making gradual updates. However, if you're gonna be selling anywhere from the immediate future to about five years, I would encourage you to do a full remodel. This will give you the opportunity, as I mentioned, to bring things up to code so you don't have any problems with any sort of banks holding up loans because a house is not turnkey or something like that. There's many government-backed loans that have additional red tape. I ran into that myself when I bought my first home. I was using a first-time home buyer down payment assistance and this was done through the county and the county came in and said, nope, you got to fix this, 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 and this before we can let you buy that house. And so the seller, which was bank owned, had to make those fixes instead of having them fixed ahead of time. So yes, I would encourage you to go through a remodel if you're going to be selling in the next five years. If you're going to be doing it long term, I would also consider your needs. For example, if you're retired and you've got somebody in the house with mobility issues, that's an excellent time to upgrade and do a full remodel because you're going to be remodeling for accessibility. I hope these tips helped you and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. I hope you got some good information out of that episode. Go ahead and click here for more videos. Go ahead and click here to subscribe and make sure you check out the description below for relevant links to some of the products that we discussed today and leave your comments and questions down below because I love answering them. As always, I'll see you in the next one.